found this big old industrial saw blade. So I thought I'd see how far I can get with it. That chisel was just a little wee bit too wide. And I've just got this last bit to do up here. This is, seems to be the hardest part. It's a matter of scraping, I think, rather than sawing. It's just working it to and fro until I get down far enough that that blade will just go into that slot. I can't cut any more the whole length because I've reached as far as I want to go down here. Um, and I can't tilt it up and come this way because I'll end up cutting into this tip which will make it weak so I've got no choice now but to do this how they originally did it I really don't know I'd have to find out I think I'm going to have to put some more research into period handles at the moment I just put it into the blades but I think uh, I think I need to know need to know more about the handles. Plan C <laughs> or Plan D. I'm not quite sure where we're up to now. Figure if I drill a series of holes. roughly the depth I want. I won't have so much to cut through, to saw through. Just gotta be careful I don't go too far. Drill right through it. This is how it was done. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh, it's definitely the way to go. Be careful. pretty tidy. Just making a pin. Can't seem to find anything the right size, so so we'll make it the right size. neat fit. Don't want it too loose. Make sure you've got no fuel sitting around the place when you do this. I know it's easy to forget, you know, you're burning brushes with turps or something or other. The oddest part of the flame is right where the flame changes colour. disadvantage here because I'm in the wind. 
and it's very light, which means it's hard for me to see the colours. They're changing in the metal. I'll have to do the best I can. Ah! Oh.